I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that wisdom is in the streets, but very few people learn. I want to look at the Russian-Ukraine war. It is true that NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, pushed Ukraine into conflict with Russia. They used Ukraine as a bait to attract Russia to war. And Russia fell for it. They invaded Crimea, fine, but they worked on the ego of Putin and the phobia of Putin about NATO expansion into the nearby countries, Ukraine, Georgia, Estonia, Latvia, and all that. And Russia invaded, invaded Ukraine. And it has not been easy for Russia Neither it has it been easy for Ukraine. The Russian economy, as at the time of the invasion, was not at its peak. Russia, because of the leadership structure and the over-dependence on oil and gas, has not been able to fully develop other aspects of their economy. How many Russian cars are we driving in Nigeria? I drove a Russian SUV or a sport uh, crossover, uh, Niva. I drove Niva in those days. Uh, Niva is not too popular. There are how many Russian products are in this house? But we have American products, we have British, French, German, and all that. So Russia should not have invaded Ukraine. They could have just arranged missiles by the boundary or whatever and um, made sure they acted with deterrence because some year many many years back Nikita Khrushchev put missiles in Cuba under Kennedy but it didn't lead to war it was amicably and diplomatically resolved when you see a small boy threatening you as a big man, be very careful. It might be a bait. Even your wife at home as a married man, if you see that she is, be very careful, be very analytical, particularly those of you in the diaspora. When you see your wife bubbling, provoking you to rot, provoking you to anger, be very careful. Don't go all out for war. Be very strategic, be very diplomatic. Uh, plan for an exit plan, a, glo a glorious, honorable exit plan from the conflict. Russia has lost a lot of men, lost a lot of materials, lost a lot of time that they will have used to build their economy just because of the pride of Putin trying to assert himself um, against the NATO expansionist tendency. And then listen, Ukraine should not have allowed herself to be used as a pawn, as a test ground for ammunition. All this uh, aid, um, America is giving $30 billion UK is giving $10 billion. They are building their industries. The arms industry is making money. The money they are employing their people. They are paying taxes to their economy. They are testing their technology. But Kharkiv, Kiev, and several other parts of Ukraine are being demolished and destroyed. 
the agricultural capacity of Ukraine has been grossly limited. And so Ukraine should not have been used an, as an instrument by NATO to fulfill their purpose against Russia. You must be very careful as a church member when your general overseer is insulted or has a problem with somebody, don't put your head. He's able to defend himself. When he will settle with the other person, you won't know. But you have, the damage you have caused to yourself is irreparable. I don't play church politics. I don't get involved in denominational crisis. Because when they will reconcile, you won't be there. So Ukraine should not have allowed herself to play into the hands of NATO and gone into conflict with Russia. Be very careful of the battles you pick. Be very careful of the fights you, 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 you fight. There are fights you think you can win. They might turn out to be very catastrophic and disastrous for you. As much as possible, have long-term thinking. There is a, a young man that took 3.5 million naira from my wife. My wife gave him 3.5 million naira to bring the printing machine years back. I don't want to get involved in the fight to recover that money. God will take care of him. I don't want to put myself. In the process, I might destroy my person. I might destroy my reputation. When a dog bites a human being, no person shares it on social media. When a human being bites a dog, it's all over the place. It is what I will do that will be publicized. I select my fights. I know when to fight. I know when to bite. I know when to back. And then I know when to back off. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. It's easier to start a fight than to finish it. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel. Share these videos with people. They might just learn in their marriages, learn in their businesses, learn in their ministries. God bless you.